guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome back to another purse sale video. It's Purse Sale Friday, so we have not only some purses for you, we have shoes, we have a couple jackets, and we are going to open up an America's Thrift Supply five-piece mystery box. Now, if you remember last week's mystery box from them, well, I did email them, and I did get a response and a very good one. So I was back and forth a couple times with one of the managers over there. And long story short, um, they were not aware of the quality of the purses that were going out. So they um, told me that they will work on quality control. They do not want to lose customers. They thanked me for giving them the heads up. Um, I was very nice, I was very respectful and I got the same response back. So um, what they did for me is they sent me out a replacement box um, and you know <laughs> they said that it was not gonna be rigged, um, that they pulled it out from the boxes that were ready to, you know, that were already ready um, and already boxed up. So um, don't anybody think that this box is, you know, specifically because I asked for a uh, replacement. Um, I didn't really ask, I just let them know what was going on and they offered to give me a replacement box. So, we will see what that has in store. I also was able to renew my 15% off coupon code with them. Not only is it just for a few months, but they renewed it for the entire year. So for the entire year of 2023, you can use code Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-E-N, at checkout for where the promo or um, discount code says, and you will save 15% off any and every purchase you make this year. Okay, so let's get into it. If you're in interested in anything you see in the video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. All my information is underneath the video in the description box. Um, and I will also have a video there um, explaining how to place an order if you need further help. Um, I will also keep a sold list in the comment section. So the comment section is just scrolling up on this video where you see everybody's comments. It'll be the number one comment up at the top. It will be the sold list. So please check that before you email me. It just helps with the incredibly large amount of emails that I get and being able to get back to you guys in a timely manner. Um, when you're done watching this video, refresh it so you get to see the most up-to-date sold list. And um, what else? Shipping is not included in the prices. That's based on the weight, your location, and the USPS shipping prices. Um, I do try to find the, the best shipping price for you. I will even use UPS if it's cheaper. Um, so keep that in mind. I try my best for you guys. Um, priority shipping is super expensive, especially if you guys are on the West Coast. I'm on the East Coast. Priority shipping is like 17 bucks for, you know, like two pounds. So I really try to find you guys the best deal. And sometimes I will even eat a couple dollars myself just to make sure you guys get the lowest shipping price available. Um, all right, so we're gonna get started first with the clearance section. So um, there's not that many, which is a good thing. That means you guys are liking the purses that I'm bringing you. So the first one we have is the Fossil. So this is um, a black leather crossbody. And this one was in super excellent condition. And you have the little flap here with a pocket and some card slots. It is magnetic. And then the top is a zipper closure. You have your zipper pocket in there. All right, so this little cutie, we're gonna drop this one to $24. All right. And then the other two purses I have in the clearance section were from the Thread Up box that I opened last week. The first one is the, the Gray Kate Spade Saffiano Leather. And if you remember, it had a really big spot right here. I was able to get most of it out. It's still there, but very little. And it had a couple spots on the back I was able to get out. Um, there is still just a little scratch there, 
but overall, I mean, the corners and everything on this bag were really nice. It does come with the longer crossbody or shoulder strap. And then the interior. I did clean it. There were there was a couple of stains and they came out. Okay. So it looks it came out really nice, you guys. There's still a couple little marks like right there but it's really not bad at all. This is a gorgeous Kate Spade bag, and I'm dropping this one to $35. Then we had the Kate Spade tote from the Thread Up Rescue Box, and this one just had a little bit of fading on the black canvas toward the top, but the leather handles were great. Um, the corners had a little bit of wear, but overall, not bad. Um, and the interior with the zipper closure on top, everything was pretty clean in here. Um, nice bright red. There are just a couple little stains like right there and a couple on this side over here. And there's a little um, pen mark right there. But overall, it was a really nice bag. It just had a little bit of fading to the black. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop this one to only 20 bucks. Nice large tote, Kate Spade, 20 bucks. Okay, that was it for the clearance section. So let's get on with the thrifted purse section, then we'll move on to shoes, show you a couple jackets, and then we'll check out that replacement America's Thrift Supply box. Okay, so first up we have a Betsy Johnson. This one is so cute. It is a crossbody, or you can adjust it to a shoulder bag. It has Betsy Johnson on the handle. It is a fabric, like a canvas. Um, it's like a, um, it's not really fabric. It's almost like, uh, I don't know. I don't know the, the type of fabric this is, but it seems like it would be able to be easily cleaned. Um, you have the patent leather with the studs here, a snap pocket. The back has your Betsy plate and a zipper pocket here. The bottom and corners are in excellent condition. And then your interior is a zipper closure on top. And your interior is nice and clean. You have your Betsy with your zipper pocket and some slips on that side. Super cute and we're gonna do this one for 35. Next up, we have a really nice, like, signature, um, like, simple, uh, goes with everything, can be dressed up or dressed down, Cole Haan shoulder bag. And this is a pebbled black leather. I did condition it for you guys. You can adjust the straps to be a little bit longer. I should say strap, there's only one. Um, but overall, excellent condition. You have your Cole Haan on the back here. You have a zipper pocket on the front. Um, corners and bottom are in excellent condition. Okay, the back you have a pouch pocket here with a magnet closure. You flip up the top. I'll just show you this is in really good condition. And then on the interior, You have a nice big zipper pocket on top and some slip pockets here. And a really nice and clean interior. So this Cole Haan shoulder bag we're going to do for $48. Then we have a um, shoulder bag by Lug. So this brand is very similar to like a Bagalini. Um, it has the nice like, uh, easy to clean fabric. It is black and this one is called the camper. So I'm not sure if it's meant to be like a, uh, maybe like a travel bag, a carry on bag, lunch bag, but it has a ton of pockets. And I really do think this bag is new without tag. I don't see any signs of wear on it. It's got these nice little feet. It's got two zipper pockets on the front here and then a pouch pocket on the top. 
It has a water bottle uh, or a little, just little pocket on each side. The back has a zipper pocket. And then the interior. So there's where it says camper. You have this zipper pocket, this pocket, this pocket, and then you have a zipper pocket on that side. All right, so a lot of little uh, pockets. Nice, really nice condition. And we're gonna do this one for 35. Next up we have, okay, so this one is probably my favorite of the haul. I know I try to let you guys know which is my favorite of the haul and I think this is the winner. This is a Vince Camuto. It is a woven um, fabric and leather. So the black is fabric, The um, it's like an off-white is leather. You have the Vince Camuto shield on one side. You have a nice big tassel and then your Vince Camuto hang tag here. Um, neon yellow trim, it's all leather and fabric. A couple little marks on the bottom that I couldn't get off, but not a big deal. And then the interior, it's a snap closure and you have three compartments. Um, the handles, by the way, are in excellent condition. And so one pocket here in the back has nothing. This middle section here has a leather top and a snap closure. And then it has, a, you know, your, your middle section. And then your front section has nothing. So no pockets except for that middle compartment. And your tag is down here. Let me grab it. Vince Camuto, cotton, polyester, genuine leather, and then your uh, scan code, and it's called the Diam Weave Black. And it also says Harlow, so I don't know, a couple different names there. But there we go, and it's a nice, like, medium to large, little tote style um, handbag. I love it, and we're gonna do 65 on it. All right, then we have a Rebecca Minkoff. This one is black leather with a gunmetal chain, crossbody or longer shoulder bag. And this one reminds me of like a little um, Chanel bag. So it has the quilting, it has the black hardware, Rebecca Minkoff. There is a little bit of wear right here on the turn lock, but other than that, it is in fabulous condition. It's got a little bit of denting where there was a purse on top of it when I had it in my storage bin just before, but that'll come out. You have your Rebecca Minkoff on the back. You also have a little slip pocket that's magnet closure on the back. And then you twist open the little turn lock and you have a very, very, very clean purse on the inside. There's your Rebecca Minkoff and your little slip pocket. Now this um, purse is a little bit smaller. It does not fit a larger phone. Let me see. No. So the measurements on this, it's six inches this way and three and a half inches this way. So you can measure if your phone will fit. I just thought it was too cool to leave and Rebecca Minkoff and it's in excellent condition. So we're gonna do this one for 45. Then I have another fossil. This one is similar to the one in the clearance section, but this one is actually new. Um, the tag is actually in the, the purse. So I'll show that in a second. Um, it is a crossbody. It is black and brown, so the leather is black, but it has br uh, brown, brown, <laughs> brown trim and everything. You, it is like I said, it's new without tag. You have a front pocket here that zippers, 
And then you have the main compartment on top. And here's your fossil tag. It is the Voyager Small Crossbody Black, $98 price tag. And the interior, there's no pockets or anything on the interior, you just have your fossil logo there. All right, so this one, uh, nice size for a phone, uh, keys, wallet, and go. And it will fit a large phone. And we're gonna do this one for 35. Okay, then we have a bag by Morel, which I've never heard of, but it is leather. And it is a pretty, they, they sell for a pretty good amount. Um, it is large, look at that. I did not stuff it because it's gonna literally take like all the stuffing that I have. <laughs> but here is the Morel right there. It is a beautiful black leather. It is in excellent condition. It has nice uh, long double handles with uh, matte silver tone hardware. And the interior, I think this bag is, I mean, I don't think anybody even carried it. The interior is like that canvas. There's your Morel. You have a, a zipper pocket there with a the little card slot. And there are no stains whatsoever in this bag. It is gorgeous and it is large and in charge. <laughs> so this one we're going to do for $40. Okay, now we're gonna go to this one. This is a coach. I don't know which you would use as the front. Let's see, you would probably use this as the front. It is a fabric with uh, blues and greens and grays and a little bit of white. It has a gray leather trim, more of like a metallic silver. You have the long crossbody or shoulder strap. You have two um, top handles. You have a back pocket and the bottom and corners are absolutely fabulous. Okay, I don't even see any staining or um, wear on this one. So this one's in really nice condition. Uh, on top here, you have a little clasp closure. And then your interior is a really pretty blue. There's your um, Creed with your zipper pocket and your slips. Now in here, I think there was was it this purse? Yeah, there's a, a little bit of ink stains inside this slip pocket. You can't see it from the outside, but it's all the way down in there. So I just wanted to bring that up. And then there's a little teeny ink, ink mark there. And I think that was it. But um, just keep in mind these purses are in used condition, so there will be flaws. Um, I always try to point out, you know, everything that I can to you guys, but just keep in mind I may miss something. Um, you have Coach on all the hardware right there and on this side as well. And you have Coach on these little things here. Okay, so a nice size as well. And we're going to do this one for $65. I really like the color combo on this one. I think you can wear it year round. All right, then we have a bag by The Great American Leather Works. This is a gorgeous dark green leather crossbody or shoulder bag. You can adjust it. It is a smaller size, more like small to medium. It has gold tone hardware, a little pocket here in the front. Excellent condition on all of the corners. Okay, you have a pocket, zipper pocket here in the back. This says genuine leather. And your top has three different compartments. So the back here is zippered. You have a little compartment in the back that's zippered. Then you have your main compartment. That is a uh, snap closure. There's your Great American Leather Works tag with your zipper and your slips. 
very clean. And then your front pocket is just like the back. It is zippered and it's um, no pockets or anything in there. So the only thing with this purse is it does have a hint of cigarette smoke. Um, I have been working on it to get it de-skunked, <laughs> but just um, throwing it out there as full disclosure, it does have a little bit of a cigarette smell. So if you are, you know, just if anybody is sensitive to that, just letting you know, um, $40 on this one. Then we have a Ralph Lauren by, uh, it's, it's Lauren, Lauren by Ralph Lauren, and it is brand new with the tag. Okay, it is a cute little, um, kind of like a little, little uh, nylon uh, tote. You have the red with the black. These are functioning pockets here. You have your name plate there. Nothing on the back. You have the little comfort grip handles. Now the corners did have a little, a little mark. There's a little teeny mark right on the corner and right down here. It's almost like um, someone may have been storing it on the floor and it may have gotten a little dirty. Another teeny little mark. But as you can see, it's very minor and there's a little teeny mark right there. So um, just pointing that out and then your interior, you have the zipper closure on top and you have a black interior with your Lauren Ralph Lauren zipper closure, I mean zipper pocket and then no pockets on that side. So this little lady, we're gonna do for $45. All right, we're gonna flip the page and we're gonna go with Steven. Okay, this is a Steve Madden brand, genuine leather. Here's your, another hang tag. This is like a, um, like a blue green. Okay, more on the blue side. Um, I looked up Steve, the brand Steven. It is a Steve Madden brand. And Steve Madden actually also owns Dolce Vita, Betsy Johnson, and Blondo. Uh, also, Anne Klein. And there was one other one. But if you look it up, if you look up uh, Steven and Steve Madden, it'll bring up all the brands that are licensed under Steve Madden. It was quite interesting. I totally did not even know that. So this one is genuine leather. It's kind of got that pebbled look. You have the gold studs all around and on the long double handles. You can adjust <clears throat> the handles a little smaller and a little longer. They are, the corners and bottom are in excellent condition. Okay. Um, the closure is that little like flap snap. And your interior is nice and big. You have a big um, slip pocket with a zipper pocket and then slips on this side. Now, there are a few pen marks down at the bottom. Let's see if I can get it get to show you. It kind of blends in with all these um, Steven, where are they? See how it says Steven everywhere? It kind of blends in with that. But there are a few pen marks all the way down at the bottom. But overall, really cool bag. Um, nice and big, tote style. And we're gonna do $48 on this one. All right, then we have an I Medici Ferenz um, brown leather. It is a backpack convertible. So it is a backpack or you can pull it up by this handle here and make it a crossbody or shoulder bag. Okay. It does have a little bit of discoloration on the leather, but I think that's just how it's supposed to be. See how some of it's darker and some of it's lighter. Um, I think that's just the look of this leather. 
It's a nice brown color. You have a pocket, zipper pocket, little hidden one in the back there. This bag is in gorgeous condition. Uh, the the um, corners and bottom are fabulous. It smells amazing. You have this little pocket here. And there is just one little scratch, two, sorry. One little one there and one little one there. But when you have this up, you cannot see it. And actually, I'm a DC. Uh, Ferenz means the Doctors of Florence. And it is an Italian bag. Hi, Dallas. And we're gonna open up the backpack and look at how nicely it opens. And we have, the back has your zipper pocket. Then you have that section. You have a middle zippered section. And then this side, you have your slips. All right, really nice and clean, really excellent condition. And also there's a teeny little scratch on the back there. But overall, gorgeous. And we're gonna do this one for 50. Okay, then we have, where are we? We have Hollister. This I picked up because it's new with the tag. It's a backpack, and I figured it'd be good for a teen, um, a daughter, a son, a niece, a nephew. Um, if you're going to the beach, throw a towel in it, gym, throw you know your, your um, water and your little sweat rag if you want. Um, it is brand new. And it is blue, and it is the drawstring backpack. Blue with the white, brand new. And inside has no pockets or anything. But I just thought somebody might be able to use it. It's brand new, it could be used as a gift. Um, so I'm gonna do this one for $30. Okay. Then we have the sack. This is a beautiful black leather. It's set up right now as a shoulder bag, but you can adjust it to a crossbody. Nice, um, almost like a baguette style, black leather. You have a tassel. This one is, I swear it's like new. You have no, no wear or anything on the corners. The back has a zippered pocket. The front has a zippered pocket. Then you can lift this up and there's another pocket. <laughs> and then the top is zippered. And you have your nice bright interior with a zipper pocket and slips. Super clean, like I said, I don't think anybody ever carried this one. And we're going to do $40 on it. All right, now we have a Talbots. This one is also brand new with the tag. It is a very classy um, houndstooth black and white fabric with a faux leather and gold tone, little almost like a little belt. Brand new, I didn't find any flaws on it. I know even though it's new, it could have flaws. You can adjust the strap a little bit um, smaller or a little bit looser, but it's just a shoulder bag, nice size. Um, it is, it does have a zipper closure on the top. And then your interior is tan, or like a beige. There's your um, towel bits with your zipper and some slips there. Super clean, absolutely fabulous, brand new Talbot's purse, and we're gonna do this one for 45. All right, then we have two LaSport sacks that are the same um, pattern, just a different size and style. So the first one is this one, it's a black with white polka dot and gold polka dots, bigger polka dots. You have the top handle here, and you have the crossbody or shoulder strap. It's like a medium, small to medium size. These are brand new without the tag. 
So these are functioning zippered pockets in the front. You have a big zippered pocket in the back. Like I said, these are brand new without the tag. Your interior, you have a slip and a zipper and slips there. Brand new. This is the larger of the two that I have and we're gonna do this one for 40. And then the smaller one is this one. So you have the top handle. You also have the crossbody or shoulder strap. It is still all wrapped up. Same print. You have a pocket here on the front, a pocket here on the back. New condition. Zipper closure on the top. Slip and zip there and slip there. So again, brand new condition without the tag. And we're gonna do this one for 30. Okay, then we have one, I grabbed this one because it was a little different. This is also brand new, it has the tag. It's by Hot Shore. And it is premium neoprene collection, which means it's easy to clean. Um, that's one of the things. So this one has a nice uh, gray two-tone strap. It does come with another one. I'll show you in a minute. So it's a nice shoulder or crossbody bag. You can adjust it with this white and gray um, little coloration here. All right, excellent new condition. You have a zippered pocket here. And then when you open it up, the zipper compartment. <clears throat> Here is the other strap. If you want just a solid black strap, it is there. And then you have your zipper pocket and your slips. So again, it's brand new with the tag. It will make a great gift. And I'm going to do $40 on this one. All right, then we have a Tianello. This one is black leather. It has a cute little tassel. It has the longer double handles. You have a pocket here on the top, on the front, I should say. Back, it does not have a um, pocket. Excellent, excellent condition on the corners and the bottom. Handles are awesome, gold tone hardware. And inside you have two compartments, okay? So this compartment here in the back is zippered and it's smaller. And then you have your main compartment which is snapped. And then you have your interior with your Tianello, the zipper and the slips and a loose thread. <laughs> okay, so this one we are going to do where are we? $45. All right, then we have the Littles. And we are going to start with the brown. So this is a brown leather. Could be a men's wallet. It's got like the, um, the cow head or steer or bull's head on the front with like a compass. Brown leather, I do believe it is new or like new or close to it. So you open it up, you have your ID slot there, you have three um, card slots here, you open it up, you have more card slots, genuine leather, made in China, and then you have your money slot. All right, so this one I will do for $12, brown leather. And then I have a J. Crew red leather pouch. Nice bright red leather. Excellent condition, maybe even unused. Uh, gold tone hardware zipper opening, and then you just have the uh, raw leather on the inside. All right, nice for your makeup or lipsticks, and we're gonna do 16 on this one. And then we have a credit card wallet by Boov Life, Bov Life. Um, I'm not sure if it's leather. It does feel like it, but there's no tags. So what this is, is 
for all your credit cards. Woo! So there's the brand, Bouvet Life. I don't know. But look at how many credit cards. So credit cards, credit cards, credit cards. Or you can put, you know, whatever cards you want in here. There's um, a slip here and two slips here. All right, so that's a lot of credit cards, your little credit card portfolio here. And we're gonna do this one for $15. Okay, so next up we have the shoes, jackets, and America's Thrift Supply Box. So let me organize, take all the purses, put all the other stuff up, and I'll okay. be right back. So we're back and I have Dallas right here. So if he starts to get a little needy, I might have to pause the video again. But first up for the shoes, now remember, I totally forgot to say this in the beginning. I feel like I always forget something. But if you're interested in anything, when you email me, you just have to give me a timestamp and a brief description of what you're interested in so I can invoice you properly. Okay, so first up we have a pair of Michael Kors. A pair of Michael Kors black leather with the gold tone hardware. Dong um, sandals, leather. They are a size 10. They do have a little bit of wear on the bottom, but I think the front part is in really good condition. And we're gonna do these, so these are size 10. We're gonna do them for $20. You doing your roly polies because you were outside, huh? Yeah, I know. Are you gonna shy away from the camera when I show everybody? Yeah? Say, is that the towel? Is that the towel that mommy puts down when it rains outside and, and she doesn't want me to get footprints all over the house? Yeah. I know, baby. We have just a little bit more, okay? And then I'll and then we can play. Now he's like in my lap. Hi. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get going with this, right? Let's finish. Alright, so next up we have a brand new pair of Toms. All right, so these are brand new. These are size eight and a half. They are um, blue, like a blue um, heathered almost with the white. The thrift store did mark them with marker on the bottom, so I wasn't able to fully get it off. I'm so sorry, but these are brand new, size eight and a half, little casual slip-on shoes, and we're gonna do these for $15. Then we have a pair of Dolce Vita, which we learned today is a Steve Madden company, licensed under Steve Madden. These are a really nice pair of beige suede little ankle booties by Dolce Vita. They are in really nice um, condition. They are used though, but they are really, really beautiful. They are a size eight. And we're gonna do these for $20. Okay, really, really nice. And then we have a pair, last but not least, we have a pair of J. Crew, really cute calf hair, cheetah print, um, little like uh, work shoes, dress shoes with the lace up. He's playing with one of his toys. Okay, with a teeny little heel. These are size seven. They are in really nice condition. Uh, no calf hair missing. Size seven, and we're gonna do these for $20 as well. Okay, now into the jackets. Like I said, I normally do not sell clothing, but I just happened to be looking at the jacket section for myself, and I saw a couple that I thought maybe you guys would like as well. So first one up, let's actually start with one that's not a jacket. It's actually, it came from my closet. I wore it once this for uh, New Year's Eve. It's too big. So I'm gonna offer it to you guys. It's by Ann Klein. It's a size medium, but honestly it can fit a large. Um, it has a faux leather little like buckle right here and then you can snap it closed. There's like like those hidden bra hooks. It's almost like a Burberry pattern, long sleeve, like duster, no pockets. 
but it's just, it was too big and it made me look just, you know, very weird. But I still wore it because I didn't have anything else to wear. But I only wore it once, washed it. I'm gonna offer it to you guys. It's 36 inches in length and 20 inches from armpit to armpit um, buttoned like this. Okay, so medium, it'll be a little bit big. Large, I think would, be, would fit much better. And I'm just gonna ask 15. Okay, then we have, this is like my favorite. If this was in my size, I'd be keeping it. It's an extra large. It's a super fuzzy tan jacket by Divided, size extra large. You have these nice big pockets. Super cute. Let me see if I can try it on. It's got these like um, hidden buttons, hidden snaps. There's the inside. Really nice condition, size extra large. It does not have a hood. Dallas is gonna think this is a toy. Let's back up a little bit. Yeah, it's way big, but I really like it. It's got like the um, wide sleeves. All right, so this one, size extra large. It is 28 inches on the length and it's... <coughs> no, stop, you're getting everything dirty. <laughs> And 25 inches armpit to armpit um, button. So sorry, I had to get him a little uh, distraction treat. So this one, we're gonna do $25 on it. So super de duper soft. Okay, next up we have a Lucky Brand denim jacket that um, I, I washed everything. So this one is a. This one is a size large, but I think it would fit a medium better. So I would say medium to like a smaller large. It's got the two little pockets here, your um, pockets here as well. Button closure. Okay. It's a little bit distressed. It is a little wrinkled. I I air um I let it air dry. I did not put it in the dryer. Um, so this one, like I said, uh, a medium would fit it better. It's got a little bit of a higher hem in the back. You can see that. So it is 24 inches in the front, 21 inches in the back, and 18 inches across the armpit to armpit when it's buttoned. And for this one, we're going to do 20. Then we have a really cool, well, we'll do this one first since it's on top. And this one's just one by Sebi. I don't know the brand, but I just thought it was really cute. It's black with kind of like this gray, um, like checkerboard. And it's a, uh, you know, it will probably fit right under the bum. You have the waist tie buttons, a nice big collar. It has a black patent leather trim, and it does have pockets. So this one is a size large, and it is 28 inches long, and uh, 19 inches across the armpit's armpit when it is buttoned. And this one we're gonna do $20 as well. Okay, then I have, last but not least, is by Guess. This is also super cool. I love the brand Guess. I actually have a leather jacket by them and I'm obsessed with it. It like fits me so well. Um, but this is a size large. This would actually fit large to extra large. So it is a denim jacket by Guess and it has like this um, hoodie hood, black hoodie hood. <laughs> it has the pockets here and here. Okay, the back. Really nice condition, snap buttons. So this one is 25 inches long 
and 22 inches armpit to armpit when it's buttoned. And this one we're going to do 25. Love that one. Okay, we're up to the point of the video where we go through the America's Thrift Supply Box. Okay, so this is the five piece purse mystery box for $44.99. And remember, if you use code Kristen at checkout, oh geez, you will save 15% on any and every purchase through the entire year of 2023. Okay, so let's see what we got. La la la, make sure you guys are checking that sold list too before you email me down in the comment section. All right, so this is first looks. We have an EA purse, which I um, gave up on trying to pronounce because I got way too many people in the comment section telling me all different ways to say it. So I just gave up, but there it is. It is brand new with the tag. This is cute. Um, it's not leather. It's almost like a Saffiano leather. It's not fabric. You have two pockets here in the front. Okay, so even though I, I just always look for flaws, even though it is new, uh, it seems like leather trim. The inside, you have three compartments. Okay, back, front, and then the top center is zippered. Um, I'm not going to send it with the original paper because it's just going to add to the weight. But there's your interior. Two slip pockets, zipper, and more slip pockets there. So really cute. Nice little shoulder bag. Um, let's do... I mean, it's brand new. Let's do 40 bucks on it. Okay, next up I see... Okay, Victoria's Secret. That's not so bad. It's got, um, oh, there is a little, there is a little boo-boo right there. Um, it looks like it could be like a little, like a little handbag. Uh, other than that little spot, it seems okay. You got the gold tone uh, chain handle. The um, interior is zippered. It's Love Victoria, and I don't see any pockets or anything on the inside, but it is clean. Oh, you have a front pocket here that snaps. Then your zipper, what about in the back? Nope, nothing in the back. So not bad, there's just, this is, um, yeah, it's ripped. So like the cheetah print is ripped right there. But otherwise, it's in really good condition. So I'll just do this one for $10. Okay. We have another new one with a tag by Malibu Sky and it is vegan leather. It is a really nice wine color, burgundy. So it has a short gold tone chain. And what is all that in there? Um, oh, I almost just whacked myself in the face. Okay, so we have a longer um, burgundy chain that you can wear, burgundy uh, strap, crossbody. And then, oh, you have like a little mini. So you can use this as the purse with the strap, but I wouldn't do that, that's really tiny. <laughs> but it is cute can use it for maybe lip gloss or something and then your main compartment has your little uh, zipper there and your slip so it's cute I mean you can use this for like your um, if you want to put even your cash or debit cards or whatever in there and then put it in your purse you can do that you can use this chain and this one is removable so that's cool all right not bad Brand new, let me keep that out. So I will do this one for 20. All right, my arm hurts. Uh, 
This looks nice. What is this? This is a B. Mikowski. All right. I do see a little bit of fading on the leather, though. All right. So it is a tan, a beigey tan, uh, pebbled leather. You have the double straps. Your silver tone hardware there. Two pockets in the front. There is a little bit of fading on the top of the pockets, but not too bad. You have your little pouch pocket in the back. And there's a little bit of wear to each of the corners, but it's really not that bad. See a little bit right there. A uh, couple little stains and a little bit of wear there. But again, not terrible. If I saw this at the thrift store, I would buy it. And then your interior has three compartments. This is gonna be hard to show you guys. So the back has your B. Mikowski and all your slips and zips. The middle section is zippered, and then the front section has nothing. Now let me look, since you guys can't see, let me make sure it's clean. Okay, clean, oh, it is ripped right here. Okay, so hold on. It is clean, so it is ripped right here. It's not a big deal. I can probably try to do that, try to reconnect. No, I don't know how to do that. I can try. It may not look pretty, but I can try to just, you know. But honestly, it's really not bad. It's really, it's really nice. And it's nice and large. So because of that little boo-boo, um, let's do 30 on it. Oh, my shoulder is killing me. Let me, let me put this over here more. Whew. It's a lot of work. All right, let's see what else we got. This is, if, oh, it's a fossil. Okay, so this is leather. Let me scooch you guys over a little bit. I do see a scratch right there, though. <clears throat> it has a longer crossbody that you can change it to shoulder. I think I see another little scratch there, but I think I can um, use the conditioner, maybe get that out, <coughs> excuse me. Maybe another little scratch there. There is some wear to the corners. Okay. Not horrible, um, <coughs> excuse me. Little pouch pocket there. Um, I probably wouldn't buy this if I saw it in the thrift store because I think that is a little bit too much. I will try to use my tinted um, leather conditioner and see if I can make that a little bit less of a wear marks. You have a zipper compartment on top and it looks nice and clean in there. Okay, you got your fossil with the zipper and your slips. So, I mean, overall, it's not bad. There's just a couple little flaws. Like I said, I will try to um, like buff them out for you. Small to medium size. Um, I will do 30 on this one too. All right, let's see. We have one more. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they do do that sometimes. The, the box is five, but they do give six sometimes. I've even gotten seven sometimes. So here is the sixth one. And this feels like faux leather. And what is this? Why is that like that? I can't even like get into the bag. That's kind of weird. Okay, so I think Something happened and the bow came out on this side and they didn't know how to, someone didn't know how to fix it. So they just tied it. 
I don't know what's going on. This is by Max Studio. It does have a top, you know, a longer crossbody. I don't understand what this is. I, so basically, if I untie this, it's going to unravel all of this. So I think that that is, that might be a problem. So, all right, let's see. If I untie this and just knot, knot it, because um, I want to get into the bag and look. And maybe just, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it like that for now, but see what I mean? And this side has a bow. Okay, so inside we have three compartments. You have your Mac Studio there with a zipper. You have a center zippered section. And then you have a two slip pockets and one is ripped. Right there. Um, it's in good condition though. I mean, it's got some staining. I don't know, this looks like it might need some work. It's got some dings on the wood. So I would just do this one for five bucks if anybody's interested in fixing it up or, I don't know, doing whatever with it, five bucks. Okay. Whew, we're done. So yes, that was definitely a better uh, America's Thrift Supply box. Thank you so much, America's Thrift Supply. I do appreciate you um, working with me. I know they watch my videos, so they definitely saw my reaction to last week's video. Um, but this one is better. Now, we all understand that these boxes are not supposed to be amazing show-stopping purses we I, I get that and that and I explain that to them so I want you guys to know that too that they're not gonna be all in perfect condition um, but we could expect that they're not gonna be complete trash either um, which was last week's box so I'm happy with this box let me know what you guys think in the comments. Remember, I do have my 15% off code for the whole year, uh, Kristen, at checkout. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.